Hola, bienvenidos. Welcome to Campeche. Buenos dias, good morning country collectors. Today we are coming to you from San Francisco de Campeche, the capital of the state of Campeche. Is that kind of like New York, New York? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> this colorful and unique UNESCO World Heritage Site is filled with friendly locals, delicious food, and a ton of history. It's the only walled city left in Mexico and is also home to the world's largest pirate attack. We hope you're ready for an adventure. <laughs> Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our future adventures. Or ye be walking the plank. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's get started. Our journey began in Merida with a quick walk to the ADO bus station where we bought our tickets to Campeche for 242 pesos each, about 12 US dollars. We always try to arrive at least 20 minutes before departure so Adam can procure some snacks for the bus ride. Inside the station, they have plenty of little shops and a nice large waiting room. All right, looks like it's time to board. Make sure to keep your luggage tags. You'll need them when collecting your bags. We saved you a seat. And look at this safety barrier for COVID and also for irritating boyfriends. Woohoo, we're off. Adam even got to sit up front with the driver. Two and a half hours later and... Welcome to Campeche. Is that an angel I see? It is! <laughs> Today we are gonna be starting on the Malecon. It is a seven kilometer walkway that runs down the Gulf here in Campeche. Behind me is the statue of Angel Maya. It's one of the most significant landmarks that you can find here. In front is the colorful Campeche sign, which is a great place to go and snap some photos. Let's go take a stroll. One of my favorite things about this city is this walkway. I don't know about you, but city life tends to get a bit overwhelming for me. So I think it's really important to have an escape into nature like this. Not only is it a great place to come and exercise, you can also watch the sunrise and the sunset, which we're gonna bring you to later, as well as this magnificent light show at the fountains. So stay tuned for that. But right now, we'd love for you to join us on this beautiful walk. All along the Malacan, you will find statues like this depicting the history here in Campeche. This local legend says this Campechana is awaiting the return of the foreign pirate she fell in love with. Are you waiting for me? Hopefully she wasn't waiting too long. Hey! <laughs> Let's keep going. And all throughout the city, they have these markers, which are super helpful, that also include maps that show you where you are. Wasn't that pretty? Thanks for coming along. Now let's head into the heart of the walled city. I guess the pirates joined the police force. If you can't beat them, join them. Man, this shade is so nice. The trees are gorgeous as you're walking down the street towards the city. They also have this giant map here that shows you where everything is. While you're walking around, make sure to keep those peepers peeping people because there is a lot of beautiful artwork that you'll miss if you don't. Let's keep going. And if you're looking for tours or information, you can also find it down here by the Malecon. Here are the walls that once protected the city in the 17th and 18th centuries from hostile invaders. Behind me is the Puerta de Mar, the once gated entrance to the city where all seafaring goods came in and out. We're not gonna get too into the history right now because later we're gonna be walking the plank, I mean wall, but I'm getting hungry, so why don't we head inside and find something to eat? Wow, we just got into the city and it is already so gorgeous. Look at these colors. Right in front of you, after passing through the Puerta de Mar, you will run into Calle 59. Not only does it have some of the best restaurants here, it also has some of the most important buildings. It's a pedestrian only street, so you're not gonna have to worry about cars. Let's go find some food. We hope you're having a good time. <laughs> 
The colors here are enough to put a smile on anyone's face. Do you agree? We've heard wonderful things about Cafe Luan and there is a table available, so let's check it out. We saved a seat for you. <laughs> this is so nice. It, it's really quaint. When you're actually on this road, you can look from one end to the other end of the fort or the walls. It's very cool. Yeah. Ooh, it sounds like Adam's smoothie is being made. Can't wait. I got this delicious looking mango smoothie con leche. Looks so good. Wow. And check this out. Muchas gracias. Wow, that looks really good. <laughs> Of course we got chilaquiles, those are Adam's favorite. And then we also got huevos serranos with that serrano ham. It looks fantastic. Like Adam would say, let's jump in. The huevos serranos is in the shape of a heart. We got this for you, Ruben. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but this is too cute to eat. Well, it's not too cute to eat. I'm definitely gonna eat it. <laughs> So this is egg with serrano ham and a croissant underneath. Let's break that yolk. Oh yeah. That looks delicious. This looks ham-tastic. <laughs> Ooh, some cheese on there too. Mmm. The serrano ham has this perfect salt that goes with the creaminess of the cheese and the croissant just has this very spongy texture. It's a winner. And if you don't know what chilaquiles are originally, they used old tortillas and fried them up to make chips, tortilla chips. These ones have eggs on top, cebolla, some crema, and salsa verde, as well as some chicharron. Looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Damn egg got away from you. Let's try it out. Provecho. Mm. Adam's gonna love this. And look at this. In Mexico, they make their ice bags with handles on them. Genius. We definitely recommend coming down to Calle 59 for at least one of your meals. Cafe Luan has just been fantastic. Adam's gonna finish up. We're gonna pay the bill and then head down to Puerta de Tierra, the gate of the land. We'd love for you to come with us. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. You, you and I. I. Wow, check this out. We have made it to the Puerta de Tierra. This is the gate to the land. Originally when the city was built, there were four gates. Now there only stand two. Here you can check out a little museum and also go upstairs and walk the ramparts. Sounds awesome. Let's head in. You gotta put the money in sanitizer before they take it. Wow, look at that. Safety first. It's 15 pesos or 15 pesos, which is 75 cents a person. Awesome. This is really a bell. Not working. <laughs> there there it is. And don't forget to <laughs> the bell. This is an actual cannon that they use to repel pirate attacks. This place is so cool and full of history. If that's what you're into, this is definitely a place to come and visit. We're gonna go take a walk upstairs and see what the walls look like. Let's go check it out. Wire be me booty. It's on your back. Oh, hey, there it is. <laughs> wow, que increíble. This is incredible up here. Oh my god, stop! We're here. The pirates are here. <laughs> As one of the richest cities in the New World, Campeche was no stranger to piracy. Then in 1663, the largest pirate attack ever occurred here. Captain Morgan, Francis Drake, and the notorious Peg Leg himself put aside their differences, gathered 20 ships and 1,500 pirates, and sacked the city. They burned it to the ground. It was so gruesome that the King of Spain actually constructed these walls we're going to be walking on to try and protect the city in the future. It took 18 years to construct. The walls are over two kilometers long and stand eight meters high. They're even three and a half meters thick in some places. Yeah, but what's kind of ironic is after it was constructed, there was no more piracy here. Yeah, they were like, nope, that's too hard. Let's go to the next town. <laughs> yeah, well, let's go take a walk. 
Wow, check this out. We are walking on the ramparts between the fort and the bastion. It looks like someone's really getting into this. Excuse me, ma'am, have you seen any pirates around here? <laughs> wow. Hey, what are you doing in there? Oh, I'm having a quick pee pee. You? Pirate patrol. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, look at this. So this would allow them to fire out in all different directions without having to worry about getting shot back by the pirates. Look at that. It's like the original turret. I know I've seen stuff like this in the movies, but it's different when you actually see it with your own two eyes and you can sort of imagine what went down here. And it looks like this is where the wall ends and the modern city begins. When you come to Campeche, you will definitely see the contrast between the old world and the new world. Look at the size of this cannon. I would not want to be on the business <laughs> end of this thing. Yeah, me neither. Just walk in patrol with the cutest Vic around. Whoa, put those guns away. This is my first mo, and I am so happy about it. I've never seen anything like this before. It actually surrounds the entire gate here to keep out any hostile invaders. And when you've had enough of the pirate fantasy time, you just come over here to the bell and give it a nice ring. The Puerto de Tierra is open every day from 9 until 3 p.m. And on Fridays, they have a light show as well. I believe he said at 8 p.m. That would be really cool to check out. We are going to head to the Plaza de la Independencia, the main plaza here in Campeche. We'd love for you to come. As you walk around the city, you'll notice the beautiful balconies and ornate designs. The city has gone to great lengths to restore over 2,000 buildings to their original Baroque designs. Because you know what they say, if it ain't Baroque, don't fix it. Welcome to the Plaza of Independence. Located in the center of the city, this park is a great place to come, relax, get your shoes shined. There's locals everywhere. They're just reading on their phones, feeding the pigeons, enjoying themselves in the shade. Yeah, you can also head into the gazebo and get a drink or a snack. When you're done relaxing in this beautiful park, make sure to take a stroll around the square. It's home to some of the most important historical and cultural buildings in all of the city. Yeah, you can check out the main cathedral. You can also go to the Free Cultural Museum as well as the Mayan Archaeological Museum where they house the Jade Mask of Kalakmul and also the Casa Number no. 6 which is the oldest house here in Campeche. It all sounds great to me. We actually just spotted some trolleys over here yeah. that I think you can take a tour of the city in. Let's go check it out. Right here is the kiosk where you get all your information and buy your tickets for these very cool trolley rides. The trolley ride costs 100 pesos, about five US dollars. They do have a minimum capacity, so she told us that she's gonna come grab us from the gazebo when there's enough people to ride. They have frappes over there and you know I'm a frapp addict, so let's go get one. the happiest I've been all day. It's true. <laughs> My cheeks are already hurt. <laughs> Adam said that we're gonna have to have a frappervention. <laughs> if anybody wants to get involved, leave a comment down below. Stop. We both got the Elixir de los Dios, or the Elixir of the Gods. It's made from raw cacao. They mm. grind it up and put it in here with a little chocolate syrup and whipped cream on top. Mm. It's a winner. I can see why the gods like it so much. Dios mio! So it seems like today is kind of a slow day. We've been waiting like an hour and there's only three of us, so 
we decided to buy an extra ticket for you. And the other lady bought an extra ticket as well, so it is time to board the trolley. I'm so excited. It looks like the trolley from Mr. Rogers <laughs> that takes you to the land of make-believe. Uh, R.I.P. Mr. Rogers. <laughs> yeah, let's go. First stop, the Artisan Market. <laughs> this has been so much fun so far. So much great information. I mean, I, er, I really liked the city before. Now I really appreciate the city so much more. We've been to a few barrios or neighborhoods we didn't even know of. And now we are heading over to the bazaar, the Artisan Market. You definitely need a few days to explore here. There is so much to see. And we would recommend taking the trolley on your first day so you can really get a feel of the city. Absolutely. All right, let's go. I feel like they're talking to me. No touching. Check out the pinatas. They're so beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at these cute earrings. It's Frida and her baby. I had to get them. They were 50 pesos or two and a half dollars. Beautiful. I love it. Gracias. Man, I am a huge fan of this market. <laughs> that was great. Let's keep this party going. We saved you a seat. Stop. <laughs> but I give this two thumbs up. It was so much fun. Muchas gracias, señor. That was fantastic. Unbelievable, yeah, really. Definitely recommend it when you're here. And I know what Adam's gonna say now without him even saying it. You're we him. How did you know? <laughs> Sightseeing always makes me hungry. I think everything makes you hungry. That's for that. I think we should go get some seafood on the Malacón. What do you think? I think that sounds like a great idea. All right, we'd love for you to come with us. So we just jumped in a cab to go to La Palapa del Tio Pito. We heard that is a wonderful place for mariscos and our lovely taxi driver told us a couple things to get. The coconut shrimp and camarones diablo and camarones ajo. So. Camarones can coco <laughs> para mí. Looks like we've arrived. This looks really nice. <laughs> exactly what we were looking for. Let's head in. Wow, this is nice. Man, look, look at, at that. Go ahead. Oh no, that's not ours. Oh. Wow. Are you good Cool. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what in the world? We just sat down and they were here within seconds. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's hot. And spicy, it's like a just like me broth. I have no idea, but this is awesome so far. What is your name? Cesar. 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 Gracias, Cesar. Cesar. It's <laughs> muy bueno. <laughs> Holy moly! So these are shrimp in a garlic sauce and Adam's coconut shrimp. Those are like clubs. Those could knock somebody out. I don't know about holy moly. I do know about <laughs> holy coconut shrimp. <laughs> Myself out if I'm not careful. It's wow. Huge. 
looks amazing. <laughs> it does look amazing. <laughs> well, give it a try. Let's jump in. It looks like there's some marmalada down here too. Oh my goodness. Let's That's like inside. one of the biggest shrimp I've ever bitten into. Amazing. The coconut is perfect, it's crunchy. The shrimp has this sweet, fresh flavor. Mmm. It's really hot. <laughs> and only true shrimp lovers eat that crunchy tail at the end. Mm. <laughs> you must be a true shrimp lover. Food dance, I love my coconut tree. <laughs> Man, I must have dozed off after that delicious meal. We are definitely in need of a siesta. Yo soy muy cansada. So we are gonna head back to our place, take a shower, a little nap, but we will see you back here on the Melacone for sunset. See you soon. Hope you didn't miss us too much. <laughs> well, I know they missed me. Probably not you. <laughs> I know, I miss Tidy too, and I never actually left her. <laughs> We are back on the Melacone where we met you this morning and the sun is going down. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful sunset. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show and stay tuned because we are still going to that light show at the fountains after. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> As you can see, it is a lot busier now than this morning. There are so many more people. It could be because it's way cooler or people are off from work, but whatever it is, I like it. Yeah, it's a great time to come down here. Wow, the sunset has been beautiful so far. Not as beautiful as her. <laughs> You're sweet. We are now heading to that fountain light show. If you're facing the water, it is just to the left of the Angel Maya sculpture. You've heard you need to get there a little bit early because there's a max capacity due to COVID. So we're gonna go at 7.45 for the eight o'clock show. Safety first. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you there. I am so excited. I feel like I'm at the Bellagio and the fountain show is about to begin. <laughs> I know, look at this. That show was impressive. The lights, the music, it was really nice. If you are prone to, I guess, hearing or... Photosensitivity. Yeah. It might not be the right choice <laughs> for you, but we do recommend it. It's true. Now we are going to head back to Calle 59 where we went for breakfast and get a drink. I think it's gonna be a little loud, so we're gonna say goodbye to you here now. We've had such a wonderful day with you. It would have been nowhere near as much fun if you hadn't come along. It's so true. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ring, ring the bell. Salud. See you next time.